right, so I'm not quite sure what color I'm going to paint it yet. Uh, got some folks texting me in the back, actually, BC Rocks there, one of my RC Sparks community forum members. And uh, we're actually going to be doing Skate Park Pain 3, if you guys remember what Part 2 was like. And, uh, well, Part 1, Part 2, it's pretty epic, man. King of Air Challenge. We'll see if it rains, see if we can actually get her done. Uh, hopefully not though, but uh, back to the top kick idea. Pe people want me to paint it like uh, the Transformer. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see uh, what uh, we come up with. Let's see what the hobby store has for paint and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so I'm walking through my hobby shop at pmhobby.ca. Checking out the uh, paint for the top kick. There's plenty of paint. I can choose everything, you guys. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Okay, so I was gonna start doing the paint. I'm pretty much sure that I know I'm gonna do like a gold. Here, look at. I got one of my buddies here. This is Pat. Look at Chunder from uh, the RC Spark Studio forums. He actually works here at PM, and he's giving me a hand with uh, doing masking stuff. And he said, "Aren't you airbrushing?" And I, I'm not that skilled. I'd like to be, but I don't have an airbrusher. Maybe he'll do it for me. I don't have an airbrush either. Turns out it won't happen. So we're gonna do the spray bombing, but we're gonna do like a kind of a fade effect. But one of the things I need to do is do like a masking so I don't get the uh, fuel tank in the back of the top kick, um, you know, done off. So turn the camera around, you'll see that we have um, different kind of masking tapes at least. Some people use a Parma paint on, but ironically, the guys, these guys are out of it. So I'm gonna have to do a little, uh, little uh, invention or be a little inventive so I'm gonna use some sort of masking tape here and it looks like Tamiya has uh, 40 mil I'll take a 40 mil and I'll take uh, well I don't know what says 10 mil we might as well do something like that let's just buy it and figure it out as we go all right so now we're back at the house time to start actually uh, doing the paint job <sighs> number one Make sure to wash your body thoroughly, inside and out. You don't want any dust in there when you're spray painting, right? It'll just make little bubbles and look terrible. So make sure to wash it with a liquid detergent. Most bodies actually have a little layer of uh, like a clear plastic film. Probably says right on the front, look at protective film. Which means you can uh, wash the inside and out. You don't have to wash the outside. I do in case I want to make any markings on there. Uh, but uh, make sure to wash with a cloth, clean this all off, and then time to move to the next step. And that would be to dry the complete body. You don't want to have any water on the inside unless you want uh, water beads in your paint, you know, just for a wet look. Um, but uh, make sure your whole body is dry, and we can move on to putting the inside decals on, or decals, as they say in the States, as I've learned. All right, so I've already gone ahead and uh, moved forward a few steps so you guys could just kind of get the general idea. But the top kick body has been deckled off, eh? So we're protecting the front windshield, the side, the back, and with the masking tape I got at the hobby store there, uh, the back gas tank. Let's have a little bit of a closer look. You can see, real straightforward. Covered up what I don't want done. Made sure the decals are in place, and I tried to make sure that uh, they're all pushed down around the edges, because you don't want it to leak, right? Now, for the paint I've chosen, is going to be champagne gold on the front, black on the back. You guys asked me to uh, do a tutorial on fading my paint, so hopefully this will work for you guys today. Check it out. Uh, PS52 and the Pactra uh, black paint. Really straightforward stuff. Uh, RC250C. Okay, so I've set up the tripod because I need to be able to use both hands and uh, my lily white skin could use a tan in the beautiful spring anyway. So, perfect opportunity to get outdoors uh, and get yourself away from the fumes of the paint. Now, number one with me is when I actually do a paint uh, scheme, uh, I'll start with the light colors first. Now, it really does depend if you're using a white, then you're spraying black, you gotta be careful it doesn't turn green, blah, 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 blah. This time what I'm going to be doing is since everything's clean, I'm going to paint the gold on first, then I'm going to fade it into black. Let me show you what I mean. Shake, 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 shake. Make sure all the edges are pushed in on the decals or decals. Okay. Point in case in point, if we call it 
decals that wouldn't wouldn't it be called Tekken, not Tekken? I guess if it was decals in Canada, it would be Tekken. I don't know. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, and for the record, when I talk to Tekken, it is Tekken, okay? Decals, that's why I say it. I learned to say it properly now. Here we go. Just a light coat. You want really light, light sprays because you don't want it to run, yeah? Now, in the paint fumes that I'm choking on here, if you actually look, it's a very light paint. You can barely tell it's there. Perfect. This is the time to stop and wait for it to dry. Note to yourself that when you do it slowly like this in very thin layers, it doesn't take a lot of time to dry, right? That's what I'm looking for. Who needs it to dry for 20 minutes and look terrible? I'd rather do really thin layers, let it dry a few minutes in between in the nice warm sun or with a blow dryer on uh, light, and then you can move on. Okay, so I've done two thin layers so far. I'm about to do a third. Notice that when I go to spray, I always make sure the spray paint can is clear anyway. You don't want any kind of uh, debris by the nozzle there. And you want to kind of start spraying off of the actual body itself. Watch this. I'm just misting it on. And I'm not going all the way to the back. I'm just doing the front. Okay, we can see inside if I do a close-up. Uh, can we see that? Yeah, kind of. Everything is not running. Okay. Looks good, everything's good to go on the front. Starting to look pretty nice, look at that. Hmm? GMC top kick. Anyway, so now that it's a little bit of a breeze outside, everything is going good, a little bit more paint. So, and it's a perfect time to be uh, painting bodies right now. Because uh, really, the, the speed of it is, is quite nice when you have good placement in the sun. And where I put my bodies, even, <laughs> this sounds funny, where I put my bodies is on my barbecue, which is quite literally true because it doesn't get too hot, but hot enough that it reflects uh, the sun right in there. Look at that pretty gold, hey? It looks really nice now. Let's flip over the body now that it's dry. We can see that it's giving me a good shine, almost like a chrome, like a gold chrome. But in some ways, if you can see it, it's still somewhat translucent, which is exactly what I want because the black needs to get under there. Here's just a quick look at it actually drying. Just a really light coat in the back, folks. Fading uh, to where it ends right in the middle. Okay, I didn't even paint over the gold yet. I will, though. Okay. Let's get another coat on there. Make sure to get in all those uh, nooks and crannies. That's what she said. Okay. Okay, so now that it's had an opportunity to dry out in the sun for a little bit, you guys can see, if I get that in the camera right, that it's not quite connected yet. There's still this area that's kind of neither gold or black. There's a reason for this. This is why, okay? So I'm gonna grab my black paint. It's time to start going over the gold area. The reason why I left this to last is so I could get a good covering on the back end of the vehicle. Okay? So again, we'll start off here, make sure it's clear and full color length here. Okay, here you can kind of see it drying in the sun and you can also see the very light coat that I put on the that time, right? There's a reason for this and it's because I need to layer it so it doesn't run. I don't want all those layers of paint that have been going on there to run while they've been drying in between. Time to layer it with more paint. Very short strokes. Covering evenly. Did I just say evenly? I don't think so. <laughs> ah, same on the inside. Remember, both sides, you gotta get right in there. See, it's the roof of why I left that area clear, because I end my strokes on that side. 
<laughs> okay. I can see the difference. Can you guys see the difference? Completely covered in one nice single coat. Having black underneath is a good way to hide shadows uh, and uh, sun when you're actually filming RCs, right? So it'll cast a nice black shadow in there. Anyway, we'll let that uh, finish up and tint the windows. Okay, next is taking the inside window decals, decals off, the coverings. Uh, and uh, you can see on the inside here what I've done already is started to pick away at the corner. That's what I'll do is I'll take a sharp uh, knife like this, pull down the corner, and give myself tabs to actually work on. Now, I do need two hands when I'm doing this, so I'm just going to kind of give you the idea. If you find the corner, and you just drag your uh, cutting utensil down. Careful not to cut right through though. And then at least if you give yourself a tab, you can kind of pick at it and pull it away. Okay, so now the decals are off the window coverings. Okay, Everything's looking pretty darn slick in my opinion. Alright, so time to apply smoke, which is PS31. Smoke is a very translucent black. Uh, Looks a lot like that. It's what I use to tint all of my RC windows. Again, you've got to be really gentle with this stuff. Don't layer it on like uh, super thick to begin with. You've got to just smoke it on. There, layer one. I'm going to do this about four more times and show you what it looks like. Okay, now the windows are completely tinted. Hey, what do you think? Uh, last thing I have to do, I already did, was peel off the inside gas tank. I was actually going to do a real diesel tank there, um, but for the purpose of the truck of what I want to do with the, two, the dual motors and stuff in there and the stacks, I'm not going to bother doing this. But I am going to uh, paint it to make it match the front of the truck.